So hi everybody. Um, I wanted to show you a budget way to give yourself shade in a conversion van. I'm currently living in my 2003 Dodge B1500 conversion van. I've been living in it on and off for the last five years and now I've been living in this full time since May. And with that in mind, and it's summer in New Mexico, shade is imperative. So. I thought I would show you a few things of how I did it. Um, I've looked online and I've been looking at ARB awnings and the various options and it seems really hard to find something that you can do on a fiberglass roof, on a high top roof, on a fiberglass. Um, fixing it, getting nearly everything needs uh, roof rack attachments um, and it just seems a big pain. So after all these years of trying different things and tops and stuff, I think I've found a great way of doing it. Um, I'll show you my first option and then I'll show you what I did today with a little more success. So here we go. I'm just going to walk us through my, there's the teddy bears. I've set it up so I have a single bed, rather a twin bed, and I'll do a, a different video of the inside in more detail another time. But under the bed is a kayak, camping gear, um, fridge, under the blanket is a um, big black container full of all my kitchen stuff. In the front seat, I travel with two dogs, so a lot of the space is set up with dog beds and as such. Um, so that's that's the inside. Oh, and I have a filing cabinet because I write books. So there we go. So this is my Dodge van. Let me walk back a little bit. It's been great. It's a really good solid vehicle. I put in maybe 500 to 1,000 a year for maintenance. Um, I did put on all-terrain tires because with all-terrain tires, oversized all-terrain tires, I've been able to get up and down nearly all forest service roads, not for wheeling or anything crazy. But this is the initial shade and it is a tarp, a drop cloth that I put grommets in and then attached to the roof with these things and it's worked pretty well. I used to just drape it over the front, over these side doors and it would blow around and it wasn't so great. So today I upgraded it by adding two of these, one on each side and within that I added along here is a half inch PVC pipe added to another one. Part of my concern of driving with two dogs is that if I go kayaking and leave the dogs in the van that the doors could close on them and they could overheat. So having a way to keep the doors forced open and give them shade was a high priority. Let's see. So on the back though, this, as you saw from the inside, the initial view, I've given myself basically a shade curtain. It fits using the similar idea, it attaches to the, to the roof, to the high top. And this is just something I'll add and take down as and when needed. This is just a conduit holder, half inch conduit holder or three quarter inch. The half inch PVC pipe goes all the way across. It is sewn into the drop cloth. And on this side, I attached it with this. And again, it's just very simple, slides in and out, so it's a good temporary fix. On this end, much like the last side, I did these little holders. They were under the shelving units in Lowe's, like 45 cents each or something, maybe a dollar, a couple of dollars. One on each side. I measured the PVC pipe to fit. I hung the side on the roof first and then pulled it out and measured and I've sewed this so that it sits in a little tube, like a sock. And again, it can go in and out. And I can just pop it up as needed. I put a bungee cord on today to hold it down because it's kind of windy. But it's not... I like this because it gives you extra shade space. It's not enclosed per se, but it's made a huge difference today. And I think I spent about $15 on both setups and so I now have shade on either side of my conversion van. Let me show you quickly what I needed and what I used. There's the drop cloth, it's a four by five foot drop cloth. I 
use this little saw for cutting the PVC, half inch PVC. A few of these, the drill, the cordless drill, and those um, brackets. And that is all I needed to give me full shade inside for myself and the dogs. So I hope that helps. I know it's a little hard to see sometimes in the dark and little pieces at a time, but let me know if you have any questions and um, yeah, try.